you pretty much made a big stink about not getting banged every day. Yeah, right? Like, you want to have sex every day. Your wife, obviously, is going through chemotherapy radiation. Um, her libido isn't the same. When people are reading you for filth, because they feel like you're not understanding Kimmy's diagnosis, what she's going through, because all you want to do is make sure you get what you need. Are you that much of a sexual person to where, despite what she's going through right now, you still feel like there's a happy medium in terms of her pleasuring you? This is what I'll say. Because this is very difficult, right? There's a difference between wants and needs. Food, shelter, right? water. And I'm a person who actually needs sex. What? Not a person who wants sex. Now, at times, I don't want it. But I actually need it. So, life throws us curveballs like what we're going through right now. And what Kimmy is doing is admirable as a spouse. To roll over and suffer through it, um, I was hoping it wouldn't be a suffering. You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> but she rolls over and suffer through it, fakes it all for me. Because at that moment, it's something that she completely didn't desire, right? And it, I kind of look at it as if, and this is, you know, all jokes aside, I look at it as her standing by me while I'm standing. So apparently there was Maurice Scott from uh, Love and Marriage Huntsville talking about how his wife suffers through sex just to make him happy. And now I'm, I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist, but y'all... Oh my God. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. That was tough. Yeah, I suffered through listening to that. What in the hell? Y'all can call me a simp, panderer. What in the hell was that right there? See how he smirked when she, she, he said she suffers through it? He's like, <laughs> I didn't want it to be a suffering, but she rolls over and takes it, even though she doesn't want it. Y'all, toxic, narcissistic people will, will conflate wants and needs all the time. I Googled it. Is sex a need? It's the first thing that pops up and says sex is not necessary. I don't know if that man has experienced some type of trauma in his past that makes him sex crazed, but his wife has, has cancer, is going through chemotherapy, no little to no sex drive, and she rolls over and takes it. He, he said, look, I'm standing by you, so you stand by me and roll over and take it. Roll over and suffer. And I know somebody. some people say, like, how can he get off while she's suffering and doesn't want it? Yo, some people can get off why you are suffering it's the suffering that helps them get off sometimes i'm not saying that, that man is sadistic but there is something y'all i just yeah i i have narcissistic personality disorder and i'm lost for words I, I literally pulled over in a parking lot to make this video because i was just like oh what the hell toxic narcissistic people like that that they don't see you as a person they see what they can get from you and i know people are just gonna like leave you you're over exaggerated whatever to death do us part you got to make your woman happy bible this bible that and y'all where's the humanity in that and that's coming from somebody with npd and I'm, I'm not saying that that man does this but some narcissistic people will say hey look if you're not going to give it to me i'm going to go out here and get it from somebody so from someone else Again, I'm not saying that he says that, but a lot of toxic narcissistic people will try to, will say that or insinuate that I can get it elsewhere if I'm not getting it from you. I'm a very sexual being and it's one of my needs. Food, water, shelter, sex, cheeks. I need some cheeks. I need it. I need it. I need it. Again, y'all, that absolutely blew my mind. They don't care about your wants and needs as long as their needs are being met just like most narcissistic toxic people will do and again y'all y'all can call me what you want but that oh my goodness that makes my head hurt y'all seriously and that full interview can be found over here on youtube uh the, at the carlos king underscore